Shalom. Busy book of Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power of our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever, so be it. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Khwadash. And double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone who watch over our souls. Shalom to the Akim worldwide that are sincere and serious to the will of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Racha, Kualash. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. To you all, stay strong and stay mighty. So I'm the brother, the disciple Kosha, but Yamir from the branch, he ain't green, then stone Barbados. A woman, 22, is frozen to death in care after being trapped in blizzard as 50 inches fell. And this had to be a horrible way um, to die by yourself, by assuming by yourself. See him that send him um, her last words via call to her family. Um, yeah, when you learn to fear the Lord, boy, you know what I mean? A 22 year old woman has become the latest victim to freeze to death while traveling in Buffalo, New York. Now, you got brothers in Buffalo, and the elder, the head of the Great Millstone. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Holy Spirit. And as always, I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion. And uh, real quick, um, I wanted to just let brothers know um, the elders, the apostles, um, you know, the elder bishops that are uh, up here in Buffalo, Niagara Falls area. Um, you know, we're safe. All right, um, we're good. Uh, you know, we did have this uh, terrible, terrible snowstorm come through. You know, temperatures were, you know, five degrees feels like negative ten. Uh, four degrees feels like negative two, negative this, negative that. Um, the bro, I was talking to the brothers in the camp as chat. I let them know we were okay. Um, but they also sent this article which uh, this was a Facebook post made for people who were in danger, Buffalo Blizzard response. And uh, a lot of these people were, you know, stuck in their cars for 15 hours um, with disabled children. You know, uh, you know, people were stuck for hours and hours. Uh, people were without power. You can see um, that all the butter is good. So, Kahalal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai for that. Because as you can see, um, when you see videos where people boil in water, and um, when they throw the water outside, immediately uh, um, um, turns to ice. See? Turns to uh, frost. See? So. This had to be a um, terrifying experience. And the uh, Taylor 22 died hours after she sent a video to her family. WhatsApp chat saying she was trapped in her car by more than 50 inches of fast falling snow. I think she was scared for her life, see? A 
year old woman has become the latest victim to freeze to death while traveling in Buffalo, New York, as a once in a lifetime storm buries the region in 15 meters of snow. And that Taylor spent more than 18 hours, whoa, 18 hours trapped inside her car after thick snow prevented her from either moving or escaping her car. Whoa, so that was that was her death right there, boy. Trapped right there. The young woman who was on her way back from work on Friday afternoon sent her family a final video from inside her car. The day before, she was discovered dead from what her mother said was carbon monoxide poisoning rather than hypothermia. So she probably had the car on to try to heat up herself, but because the snow, you know, probably because the car was trapped in snow, probably the, the fumes get back inside somehow. You know what I mean? Miss Taylor was one of three people who died in their cars as a result of being trapped by the snow in Buffalo. The total death toll in the region is 35 as a result of the freezing conditions where the nationwide toll is 70. Oh. You know, final video to her family, the young woman said she was stuck in her vehicle and that the snow was coming down thick and fast. The 16 second video depicted Miss Taylor running down her snow covered window to display the fierce conditions. Several cars could be seen trapped by the snow as the ferocious winds whipped by the background. The family quickly called 911 following receipt of the video. Despite her family's desperate attempts to locate a young woman, her location could not be reached and she was eventually found dead late on Saturday. And this is, wow. This is how it looked, boy. Probably the video there. Enxurrada, a motorista abre a porta para sair do carro, mas a força da água no sentido contrário empurra a porta de volta. This is the book of Job 37. I start at one. At this also my heart trembleth and is moved out of his place. Hear attentively the noise of his voice and the sound that goeth out of his mouth. He directeth it under the whole heaven, and is lightning unto the ends of the earth. After it a voice roareth, he thundereth with the voice of his excellency, and he will not stay them when his voice is heard. God thundereth marvelously with his voice, great things doeth he which we cannot comprehend. For he saith to the snow, Be thou on the earth. Like voice to the small rain and to the great rain of his strength. He see the up the hand of every man that all men may know his work. Then the beasts go into the dens and remain in their places. Out of the south cometh the whirlwind and cold out of the north. By the breath of the most high, frost is given. And the breath of the waters is straightened. Also by watering he reareth the thick cloud, he scattereth his bright cloud. And it is turned round about by his counsels, 
that they may do whatsoever he commandeth them upon the face of the world in the earth. There's another basic point here. He causes it to come whether for correction or for his land or for mercy. So clearly this wasn't this wasn't for his land. This wasn't for his land. Right to make the land plentiful, crops to grow for mercy. Same thing. You know what I mean? This was for our correction. Right? This was for our correction, boy. Um, Second Ezra sixteen uh, verse eighteen the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Bad times. You are famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges yeah so people still need to eat the lord boy you know what i mean for a correction board right was there for one hear the word of Yahweh ye children of Israel for the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. Yeah? So the Lord sent this frost, this snow, as correction. And so 70 people, and maybe even more, because the brother did a video, um, people scrambling. cause of much of the travel mayhem that we're discussing right now, the massive winter storm that's slamming upstate New York. These pictures are just so dramatic, still present by the state's emergency declaration yesterday. That means that New York is now going to receive some extra help, especially in the way of money from FEMA. NBC News correspondent Jesse Kirsch is joining us now from upstate New York. Jesse, good day to you. Hey there, Jesse. We know that 63 people have died so far. Sorry, I'm not sure if we're connected yet, Jesse. We know that 63 people have died so far, 27 in Buffalo alone. A Buffalo official said that, you know, they sort of see the light at the end of the tunnel, but what are you saying there on the ground? 
Yeah, there's still a long way to go with cleanup here, Morgan and Peter. I'm standing on a mound of snow in what should be the middle of a street. And you can see behind me two gentlemen shoveling using the snow blower. They are trying to clear this away because they're worried that without getting this mountain, essentially, of snow in the middle of the street, I mean, you can see how much higher it is than the street level. Uh, without clearing that out of the way, they're worried that the plows won't be able to get through here and better open the community. I, I saw some of the main roads are getting to be in pretty good condition, but officials still do not want people out on the roadways and because sidewalks are still covered in snow i've seen people walking in the street so obviously all kinds of safety concerns around the layers of what is still going on here and just to underscore the amount of snow you see this it looks like a snow drift but that little dot of red right there that is a side view mirror on a car so this is a vehicle that is still almost entirely submerged in snow days after this deadly storm began the number of dead has been fluctuating this morning at the latest press briefing from officials but we know at this point According to reports, more than two dozen people confirmed dead because of weather-related incidents in the wake of this storm. And that makes this the deadliest storm in the history of this community, a community that is very familiar with right. bad winter weather. The mayor of Buffalo saying that any community would not be able to easily deal with what has been unfolding here. And they're about as prepared as any place in this country for snow in Buffalo, as we see year in and year out, guys. <clears throat> but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. <laughs> all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai.